You know, it also shows that not just high math, but uh, these sites are lined up primarily with uh, the lunar calendar. They had high math, they understood geometry, and because of the lunar calendar, they also understood the heavens, astronomy. What I've learned now is just how amazing uh, they were in terms of their knowledge of the solar system and of mathematics. And the lunar calendar comes from uh, the Mediterranean and then they had the unit of, of measurement was 606 which they call the stade. One side of the Great Pyramid from the base to the tip of the apex is 606 feet. If you square inside the octagon which the uh, uh, surveyors like to call, it's a term they use, squaring, squaring the circle and you divide that up into four equal parts inside of cubes, you'll find those cubes are all made of 606 foot lines per cube side. The angle of the Great Pyramid of Egypt runs 51.8 degrees uh, up the slope from the base to the, to the angle. That, that measurement is there and when you come off of the, uh, the baseline at uh, Newark and you run true north and then measure that angle back to the baseline, what do we find? 51.8 degrees. So, did they have the same math as the ancient Egyptians? Uh, well, I gotta say, yeah, it sure looks like it. It's as inspiring, I think, in its way as the, the NASA program to send a man to the moon. Most of the Mediterranean uh, societies, civilizations, ran their calendar on the lunar cycle or 13 month calendar. And that can be fully demonstrated with the Hopewell people as well. Again, another nice parallel to the uh, Mediterranean contact. We own the Newark Holy Stones, and these stones were found in a Hopewell mound in the 1860s. And uh, the presumption from finding them was that perhaps the American Indians were had some kind of contact with uh, the with the, the Hebrews or possibly they were the Hebrews, that's another idea. So, so we have, our, the museum has been interested in origins. They took it to uh, some scholars, identified that it was probably some type of Hebrew. They took it to some uh, rabbis living in the area and upon looking at it, they said yes, they could read it. And it was a complete rendition of the Ten Commandments. They called it Block Hebrew because they had never seen anything written like this but they called it Black Hebrew.